Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and today we're making one of my favorites. It's called finger steaks. It's, it's kind of a local Boise thing. If you were to go to a lot of the pubs, the bars, even restaurants, it's, it's an appetizer that they have. Basically it's just a piece of meat that's breaded and I know it goes by all sorts of different names but the story goes that it was made here in Boise for the first time. Don't know when, but that's just the story. I took a piece of chuck tender steak, you know, the things that they put into the little tenderizer thing. Super simple. Got a piece here, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. First of all, I've got three eggs here, though, that I needed to whip up. So that's our egg wash. Easy enough. And I've got a cup and a half of flour, and then I've got just around a cup of panko breadcrumbs. The first thing we do is we just cut our steak up. Now this stuff comes in all sorts of different shapes and sizes around here. You can get some that's like beer battered and it's, it's really crazy fluffy batter on it. Same thing with like fish and chips. If you were gonna do fish and chips, you know, they, all sorts of different shapes and sizes. But this is how I like it. Super simple. I actually did an episode, one of our very first episodes, when we were just a dude's kitchen, and we made a finger steak steak. We made a finger steak sandwich, excuse me. Very similar to this. First thing we do is just take some of our meat, throw it in here, give it a shake, throw a little bit more in. Throw some more in until we finally have it all in here. We'll seal it up and we're going to give it a little shake and bake. Perfect. Doesn't take much. The thing we do is we take one out, throw it into our egg wash. and into the panko. And do a couple at a time. Makes things go a little faster. I think you get the idea. I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll shake it. go we have a mess but it's okay look at that watch this Woo! okay it is time to take this these things over to the oil I don't know if you can see the temp on that, but right now, it's burning hot. So we're gonna take our first one, just throw it in, let it do its thing. Grab another one, do the same thing. And another. And this is how you do a finger steak. What I really like about this right now, because we're at the perfect temp, is because you're not seeing a lot of the breading come off. Just a couple floaters here and there, that's perfect. Mm. Trying to get that golden brown on it, yum. It doesn't take them very long either. You can definitely see that golden brown on that stuff. I'm 
that. I think our first one's out. Do it again. This thing's hot, but look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. This is our finished product right there. Almost looks like chicken wings. We're back. Zoe came by to say hi. There she is. I don't know if you can see her. These things, mm. golden crisp, man. I don't know if you can see that. That, look at that golden crisp. But there's several ways that I like it. I'm gonna get out the components for it, and I'll show you. Of course, every good bar food needs a beer. The first way that you can eat them is just plain old barbecue sauce. This happens to be the sugar-free version. But it's really good still. I like that. Another way to do it, just sweet baby rays. This is just the barbecue sauce, is generic. Fully loaded with sugar, by the way. Heck yeah. Another favorite way is just your favorite ketchup. Good. And then there's my favorite way. Ketchup. Excuse me, sorry about that. And horseradish. This is just the creamy horseradish. It's all good. Nice little chunk in there. Mix it up like so. And this is usually the preferred way. You see a lot of the restaurants will serve it this way. Two thumbs up. One way I've never tried it though. First radish and barbecue. Definitely want to give this one a try. And that's the one I'll be returning to. Mm. You saw what we did, guys. Super simple. Sorry. Super simple. Super delicious as well. Kids next door playing. Dig it. Springtime. All right, guys. The recipe's down below on how to make these. Finger steaks. Steak fingers. Whatever else you want to call them. From whatever part of the world you're from. It's definitely a bar staple around here. Almost everyone you go to is going to have it. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. 
please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and comment. Share if you like too. Guys, remember, the dude abides with finger stakes. Time for me to get my feet on. Mm. Talk to you later, guys.